What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 3. Gonna get a little uh, first person drifting going. Gonna be drifting in third person as well. Wanted to try something different with the camera, doing an overlay over the steering wheel as well. We'll see how this works out. But I, I've been having a lot of fun drifting low horsepower cars. So, what better car to do than that beautiful 240SX Cream by Adam LZ, tuned to about 300 and 50 horsepower, street tires tuned, getting as close as I can to the actual S, you know, S chassis he drives. So we're going to rip it around, do some street drifting, do some parking lot drifting, and just have a little fun in some low powered cars. So let's get to some drifting here on Forza Horizon 3. Alright, so let's do some, uh, let's do some street drifting here. I do have no HUD or anything on, I'm just using the tachometers in the actual car. But yeah, like I said, I've been having a lot of oh, almost wrecks a car. Been having a lot of fun drifting lower horsepower cars right now. Uh we don't need no park bench. And you know, normally from my eight hundred to a thousand horsepower drift cars that I normally drive, been having a, a blast just, you know, using the body weight of the car to throw it around. More clutch kicks, more e-brakes, just like that. Ooh, we didn't tap the sign, we're good. I am on full 900 degrees of rotation with hydraulic handbrake and everything. Whoops. Need to clutch kick that a little more. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Like I said, I've been having a lot of fun doing low horsepower cars, and I decided I wanted to build, you know, Adam LZ car because I do follow him on YouTube. If you don't know who Adam LZ is, I will leave his link in the description box below. Because if you don't know who he is and you know who I am because you're watching my channel, uh, you might want to go check him out. You know, BMX drive, BMX rider, drifter, you know, YouTuber, does you know daily vlogs and all that touch. I am in love with his uh, 240SX as well as his wife's. 1JZ S13. Ooh, don't hit that car. Uh, sorry, I kind of just wrecked wrecked your car. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. Crap. All right. Getting a little sideways here. I hope you guys are enjoying the little cinematic overlay of the steering wheel that I have instead of actually seeing the steering wheel in the cockpit overlaying my steering wheel give it a little bit of a different look I will be switching it back to the standard camera and doing some third person drifting in this car now it's raining there we go oh we treat it go this rain is definitely changing how this car drives brake little cuts kick hold this out let you break rip we got it we're good Oof. all right I saw that car I got scared he turned around we're good though Some donuts, why not? Now I'm also going to be hopping into a new car I got on the Forzathon. We'll be ripping that around the streets in a little bit. So I think we're going to switch us back to the normal camera view and uh, get some third-person drifting going here in this Cream 240SX. All right. Now let's uh let's first turn back our HUD. We kind of need that now. Uh, let's see here. HUD map on speedometer digital. All right. 
I'll see what we can get into in this car. Like I said, it's about 350 horsepower, full suspension and everything like that. Ooh. Throw it into the parking lot nice and deep. Just matted second gear. Just a tap on the wall. Not a big deal, just a tap. car handles so well being such a low power and just pretty much banging off second gear. I mean we can go in the third gear and just clutch kick it a little more. We don't want to rev it out too high. And it'll slide in second in second or third gear. Ooh, curve hop, let's let's just Exit this parking lot with style this way. Excuse me, coming through. Winding down the street. I'm gonna hit this little street section up here. I don't remember where it is. Since I did accidentally turn my maps off. Clutch kick, get it sideways, there we go. This is wide. There we go, hold it out. There we go. Hold on a second. Alright, definitely having a lot of fun in these low horsepower cars. It's nice to step back to. Oh, how did we not hit him? We're gonna try and hold this out. It's definitely nice to step back to grassroots and lower horsepower cars rather than the full like Formula D spec 850,000 horsepower cars that I normally drift. It's just a lot of fun just to sit here, throw the body weight, clutch kick, a little e-brake, and just throw the car into the turn. Oh, oh that one's gonna be really short. Like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying this little drifting set. I'm going to see if I can't hop online and see if I can't find open lobby and maybe try and get some tandems with this car. Alright. Did find a guy here in an open lobby with a 350Z. Oh no. I think he's about the same power as I am. Trying to cut the corner. A little bit shallower to catch up. Cut this short to catch up. Go. Oh, you lost it. Tandem's going on right now. Back in the first person.
dive in on him. I think that's going to do it here for this little short video for here for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more specific drift builds, don't forget to comment down below. Or, and don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. As always, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. I'm going to continue trying to tandem with this guy to see if I can get any closer. So, until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm. I want something just like this. Oh, no.